hello my beautiful libras welcome to my channel this is your favorite fortune teller divine light today i'm gonna do a tarot reading for the new moon upcoming new moon in taurus and due to the general nature of this reading please take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the others if you're enjoying these videos don't forget to give them a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel all right now we're gonna pull up a couple cards and we're gonna have three main themes one of them is what's new what's coming your way and the second one is this Taurus energy, what are you letting go? And the third one is the good stuff coming your way, okay? All right, let's see. First one is what's new. We have the Earth card and um, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Not the Earth card. This is the World card, I'm sorry. It's just the same word in my... Okay, I see what you're letting go is actually like a celebration coming up for you and a reconciliation i feel like reconciliation or maybe two of the celebrations are card are coming up together so uh, i'm gonna pull up these coffee cards that i have in designing the good stuff is i need to mix it up a little more um and these coffee cards for the explanation and let's see what's this thing that you're letting go so you can celebrate like you're celebrating here with your friends and family and also um we have the ace of um four of wands four of wands is actually like some sort of like a um, wedding celebration energy so maybe you're letting something go that doesn't serve you anymore with that you're going to have this um manifestation of celebration even maybe like you have been manifesting um wedding for a long time which didn't come your way it didn't happen and the third one the good stuff is the star which and the king of pentacles just fell off and the good stuff can be a new relationship with someone can be a wedding and um okay let's see okay what i see here is the world card and um ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is overall um family environment happiness joy money wealth success in business all uh, all kinds of Mm, happiness and joy is going to be manifesting for you that's the new things are coming for you okay the world card actually represents a completion okay you can see here there's a snake circling around her snake represents in coffee cards reading i usually uh, met, mm, interpret it as in kundalini energy and coming to completion and maybe health matters are fixing getting better if you have in your family there are fa uh, health issues i feel like they're going to be resolving as well okay but uh Ten of Pentacles is actually uh, representing your wealth and a lot of wealth coming your way. And this is going to be long-term thing coming and happiness and joy. You can see how happy these people are here. Okay, the new thing coming with this new moon is new opportunities of wealth for you. Okay, you're manifesting new opportunities of wealth. And I have here raindrops which is actually also can be the teardrops so you're gonna have tears of joy whatever this is that you're manifesting is actually going to be amazing this is something probably you have been waiting for and you have been contemplating and thinking about this thing and um taurus energy is actually nurturing and loving energy it's an earth energy so we have the earth here and the world also so whatever this is is coming to stay long term staying and grounding you to wherever you are can be a movement also maybe you're going to move to a new place get a new house start a new job but these are the new things coming your way and there's a cycle is ending so if you have been going through some things in your life maybe like uh, the, the unpleasant stuff they're going to come to an end okay with this taurus in new moon let's get to what you're letting go because what you're letting go is this actually maybe you have been um i see a path actually maybe you're waiting for someone to show up and this looks like a bear to me so a bear is a very wealthy and someone who has a lot of authority and power and strength and i feel like you're gonna let go of attachment to whatever this is maybe someone that you have like a long distance relationship with someone and which is not working out for you and um as soon as you let this go let god take over it you're having this amazing celebration which is ace of uh, four of wands and we have the three of pentacles okay 
uh, no three of cups i'm sorry i'm translating at the same time and just my mind is just rolling so fast okay so i have the four of wands here you can see these ladies are celebrating and having a lot of joy but in the traditional tarot deck you can see in the four of wands they're actually celebrating a wedding okay there's a castle in the background and they're celebrating there's an arch here this is actually you can interpret this as a finish line as well so if you have been going through a situation and maybe you put a lot of work into a project something that you work on at work maybe a relationship that you didn't really get whatever you wanted back but whatever this is it's coming to an end you're coming to the finish line and it's time for you to celebrate that's what's happening for you that's what's ending and a new beginning starting for you i see three of cups here three of cups actually celebration energy so you're probably going to come together with your loved ones and celebrate if you are waiting for someone to show up from the past and somebody who didn't show up maybe this is the person that is actually going to be showing up from a long distance they're coming for you and you're gonna have reconciliation and celebration with them as well you can take it how it resonates but i feel like this is actually something that is going to be like a lot like two of the celebration energies coming together you're gonna let go of whatever is not serving you anymore with this taurus energy and you're going to actually start to celebrate these things and celebrate the life as it comes to you okay and what's good stuff is actually we have the star card and king of pentacles king of pentacles is taurus um taurus capricorn or virgo virgo it's an earth energy it can be someone new showing up very stable very loyal you can see he has his dog and he has his pentacle in his hand very knowledgeable you can see the bookshelves on the background and this person might be someone that you manifested you wanted to have a relationship with this person and this is coming your way this person doesn't have to have taurus in like his first sign can be in his other charts you know the on his chart other signs might be that maybe in his venus he's a taurus and um that's actually where the love um comes to play okay and the partnerships actually uh in the seventh house of the seventh house and the partnerships actually comes up so he might be actually someone very good very well we have here wealthy okay this manifestation is a uh, this can be also you like if you're not looking for a relationship and maybe manifesting a new house a new place for yourself turtles usually indicate that you are actually going to gain this authority and the strength and gather this uh, very soon with this energy if you're manifesting a home a house for yourself and becoming this whale of yourself and becoming very wealthy this is actually showing up for this uh, new moon in taurus okay you're gonna get the opportunity you're gonna get the connections maybe you apply for a loan it's gonna be approved and you're gonna start manifesting this wealth into your life with this energy of the new moon okay and uh, i feel like some of you might be getting like a house a new house and that with that you're gonna have this beautiful energy surrounding you and uh, you're gonna actually start to celebrate you're gonna celebrate that maybe uh, you have been living somewhere that is not serving you and you got stuck there and you need to move that's why the past is showing and you're becoming this bear you are actually taking whatever um the responsibility whatever this is giving you power you're just accepting your own power and tears of joy represent that you're expecting your own power and then the start the things are start rolling because when you're manifesting if you have doubt you cannot have it like there's a saying called like fake it till you make it it's a little bit like um it sounds like uh, being an imposter, but it doesn't actually that. It means that when you get into the energy of the things you desire, like here, like when you get into the energy of wealth, it's un like it's impossible for it to not to manifest it. Okay, you're gonna attract it to your life because this uh, universe is a low base universe. Okay, and low attraction, low vibration. If you're a high vibe, high vibe means high vibrational feelings. Uh, gratitude love joy you know enjoyment enlightenment if you're in those mindsets most of the time it's unavoidable you will definitely going to be manifesting these things into your life okay let's see okay gratitude this is actually charity uh doer okay and uh, this is uh, you're gonna be this is telling you be generous okay and you can see they're having like 
I said the king of pentacles. We have the crown here and a family, beautiful family environment. Like if any of you is manifesting love, the rose actually represents love and um, um, for, um, not only love, but also uh, beauty and um, innocence. Okay, so you're manifesting something pure into your life. And um, this mushrooms, because they multiply so fast, is actually whatever this wealth, money, whatever that uh, love that you're manifesting is going to be coming so fast and multiply, grow. You don't have to put a lot of effort into it. That's how mushrooms grow. They don't need too much attention or effort, okay? But you need to set up the uh, proper environment for them. And uh, you're going to be actually manifesting this but at first, like I said, you need to let go whatever is in the past, okay? You got to leave past in the past and whatever is not serving you, let it go and embrace whatever is coming forward with love. And also, this is like, a, um, this is about giving, okay? Uh, I couldn't really translate the word, but this is telling you just be generous. This, this is what it is, okay? Be graceful and generous, okay? Uh, when you have what you, like, when you share what you have, I'm not saying give everything you have because that's just actually, uh, you know, that um, vibrates uh, desperation, okay? Because when you believe that, oh, when I give everything, like, it comes back in tenfold, but when you believe that in, like, um, desperate state you're not going to be able to manifest more of it but if, when you feel like okay i have this much money uh, maybe 10 i'm gonna just uh, go on 10 dollars. i have 10 dollars one dollar giving away to someone who needs or maybe buying someone a coffee uh, which is going to actually raise their vibration like when you give someone free coffee they're going to be so happy about it so joyful about it they're going to be so you know and their energy is going to be shining to you as well they're going to be so grateful for that and you're going to appreciate that as well their their happiness with that you're going to be able to rise your vibration to the higher so this is actually telling you that's just the time for that okay give generously but not you know to put you in a desperate position because everything you desire is already on its way to you all right, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.